is basically my childhood. I was born in a little mining community just on the west coast of Scotland uh, called Springside. It was near a town called Kilmarnock. And I spent most of my time amongst old men with flat caps, wearing old suits, and uh, large ladies, large missile shaped ladies who were uh, bedecked in um, either pennies or big old coats uh, with tartan head scarves. And um, I had a, a lovely childhood. Um, and I, I got to an age where I wanted to capture that lovely feeling as I had as a child and uh, wrap myself up in this lovely warm blanket of nostalgia. So um, I, I began to capture my childhood. And even though I did it for my own benefit, um, what I found was that the paintings that I did uh, had a resonance with uh, everybody else that saw them. And when they looked at them, they could see aspects of their own childhood. And um, the subject matter that I chose uh, Nowadays, I've got models that work for us, but back then, I used to chase old men around the streets of Newcastle. And very shy old men, so they usually ran away from me. So all my reference work were of these old men running away. They were all back shots, um, which turned out to be a, a bit of a blessing in disguise because my paintings then developed this anonymity about them. And that turned out to be a bestseller in the, in the long run. And what it's happened now, it's, it's led to uh, the exhibition that you'll see today, uh, The Working Man, in the uh, Great North Museum here. Uh, and really, what I've attempted to do is to use that subject, but put him in a wider setting, put him in his environment so that he can capture all the, the smells, the sounds, uh, to, to get, um, to put him in a setting, put him in his proper place. And the, the exhibition is really a, a celebration of the working man, because these men were the backbone of Great Britain. Uh, they were the unsung heroes that uh, put life and soul into turning uh, a post-war country into uh, a great country. And especially for the northeast of England, um, these are the men that built the bridges, dug the coal, uh, uh, built the ships that made, the, especially the northeast of England, such a great place to be. So it's my, um, uh, I'm honoring these men and I, I hope when you come to the exhibition, you get a sense of well-being when you look around. And, uh, and I hope you too can wrap yourself up in that warm blanket of nostalgia as I'm able to do. This collection represents two and a half years of hard work from Alexander Miller. This is the best paintings that he's ever done and it's a pivotal moment in his, his artistic uh, career and uh, we're just delighted to be a part of it. Twenty years ago I recognised a huge talent and I brought in in the very early days how proud I am of him now. One thing that people just love about Alex's work is that they can just empathise with it straight away. They can look at it and they know instantly who he's trying to reach and the kind of characters that he's trying to get across. Everybody knows somebody like this. I just love Alexander Miller's work, the quirkiness, the way it looks. I can't help but looking at them. 
Um, I just, it's messy. I wish I could have one. Please. <laughs>